Okay, everybody. We have a possum or maybe a coon, we're not sure, killing our chickens. We've had two that have disappeared so far and the neighbor thought he saw what looked like a possum dragging one the other night when he heard the dogs barking but he don't he didn't have a gun that right away where he could catch this possum or coon whatever he thought he saw so i'm gonna set out a trap and try to catch it next to the chicken yard and uh if it's a possum they love bread so i found these old hot dog buns in the house and i'm gonna go ahead and put a little trail what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put two of them inside the trap so I'm just gonna toss them to the back of the trap like so I've already got a reach for them okay I tossed two of them to the back of the trap and I'm gonna take some small pieces I'm gonna put some out front. Let Mr. Possum know where the front of the cage is at. I'm gonna toss one or two inside. And that should be all I need is that little bit of bread right there. I don't need too much. I don't want him getting full before he gets in the cage. I'm gonna give the rest of this to my chickens. Chickens love bread. So if you have some old scrap bread, stale bread, they love it. All right, we're gonna come back tomorrow and check the trap and see what we found. Hopefully we can keep these ladies from getting killed. All right, thanks folks. See you tomorrow. Okay, folks, I'm back by the chicken yard and I'm going to check the trap to see if we caught our chicken killer. And I was walking over here and look what we got. Mr. Possum, the chicken killer. So it looks like our little bait of bread worked out pretty good. And Mr. Possum is awful nasty. He looks like he's got some kind of disease or sickness. So we're gonna dispatch of Mr. Possum But, but yes, folks, the, the bread in the trap worked. So if you need to catch a possum, get you a bigger trap. This is a trap made for a raccoon. And put you a little bread on the outside like I did. And a little bread on the inside. He, he didn't let the trap stop him from eating it. He ate all the bread. Yeah, he looks like he's had a rough life. I mean, he's got hair missing, like he's got the mange. So we're gonna dis dispatch this little fella, keep him from killing any more chickens and uh, spreading any kind of diseases. All right, let me take care of this fella. Okay, folks, Mr. Possum is no longer I hate dispatching of wild animals that I can't eat. But Mr. Possum was killing chickens and we cannot have him killing our livestock. So I would have relocated him, but he has a lot of hair missing on one side and I think he's got either the mange or some kind of sickness. So instead of him relocating a sick animal to a different location, I just dispatched of him. All right, folks, thanks for watching Cajun Homestead and Beekeeping. Today was a little bit of homesteading. Wanna be free of this heart, yeah. Wanna feel your arms around me. I need you more, need you here, more than I would like to admit. Let's forget about tomorrow, yeah. Should I hide away forever? Should I close?
close my eyes and never again Hold you tight, call you mine Think about you every 